To understand a fraction, first identify the numerator and the denominator. The numerator is the number on top, which tells you how many parts of a whole the fraction represents. The denominator, which is on the bottom, represents the total number of possible parts making up the whole. For instance, the fraction 3 fourth describes three equal parts of a whole that has been divided up into four parts total. 3 is the numerator, while 4 is the denominator. Some fractions can be simplified, which means that you can divide the numerator and denominator by a common factor to create an equivalent fraction. For example, in the fraction 2 fourths, you can divide both the numerator and denominator by 2 to get the equivalent fraction half. A fraction where the numerator is larger than the denominator is called an improper fraction. This kind of fraction represents a combination of a whole number and a fraction. You can convert improper fractions into mixed numbers by dividing the numerator by the denominator. The quotient in the division problem is the whole number, while the remainder is the numerator of the fraction. For instance, to turn 7 thirds into a mixed number, divide 7 by 3 to get 2, with a remainder of 1. Write the fraction as the mixed number, 2 and 1 third. You can add and subtract fractions like whole numbers, but only if they share the same denominator. For instance, 2 sixth plus 3 sixth equals 5 sixth. If the denominators are different, you'll need to convert at least one of the fractions into an equivalent fraction so that the denominators match. Multiplying fractions is simple. Just multiply the numbers by the numerators and the denominators by the denominators. To divide one fraction by another, flip the second fraction over to find its reciprocal, then multiply the two fractions together.